Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeves, your old composer here at the Decomposer Lounge. Can you believe that 47 years ago yesterday, Physical Graffiti from Led Zeppelin was released? And, you know, I think we can all agree that even if you're not a really big fan of Led Zeppelin, that it is one of the 70s supergroups that laid down the foundation for a lot of what we've heard throughout the whole trajectory until today. With influences, I'm sure that we can pull out of every genre that has passed through our, our, excuse me, our ears into our brains, into our ooh-ah moments of listening to music, even if you didn't know it or, or detect it. Um, and like I said, you know, not everybody really glows and glams over Led Zeppelin. Like, I, I do because here, here's my story, just briefly. And then I'm going to tell you which one of the songs was actually my favorite song. Uh, because there were so many great tracks on this. But for me, I was, I think, 13 years old. It was that point where I really started getting into rock during my 70s and stuff. That when this album came out, I went, oh, wow. The arrangements, the compositions, the change-ups in the chords and stuff were really starkly unique compared to the first, you know, the other albums beforehand. And to me, this is where um, uh, John Paul Jones really took off and had a lot of liberties and doing a lot of work, you know, with the synths and string arrangements and brass arrangements on Cashmere or uh, In the Light. That's another one that was just mind-blowing. Uh, when it came to other outside arrangements, outside of just playing bass, drums, guitar, Jimmy Page, you know, in, in the light playing with like a, a, a bow, you know, at the beginning of it, and, and then um, uh, John Paul Jones. I read somewhere that John Paul Jones, and they, these guys never really enjoyed doing this live in the light, was because they couldn't reproduce that sound that he got his, uh, on the synth. But of course, one of the biggest songs on that album it was Cashmere, okay? And I did that video, remember? I tried, I pushed it around yesterday, but you can't like resend out to your subscribers uh, old content, I guess, on YouTube. So I put it on my community tab, but I'll put the link below that about a year ago, I did a breakdown on Cashmere and I talked about the brass section and the violins and very unique arrangements. But to me, my favorite song on the whole album was 10 Years Gone. I think melodically it really pulled at me, but yet how they went in and out of these really super great chord changes and plants melody and everything, and then, you know, loaded up on the riff, da 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 and just, he, Plant didn't even have to sing, and just that riff would have just loaded me up, and I can't tell you, I think I, I definitely went through a stylus on my record player, you know, for you young people, that's the little needle <laughs> uh, on this particular album. And so I'd have to say 10 Years Gone was, uh, was my favorite one. So, uh, uh, but I remember where I was when I first heard it. I was at my buddy's house. Uh, we were getting uh, baked like you do in the 70s. And he goes, dude, my dad just brought this home. Check it out. And his father was uh, a producer at A&M Records. And so he had uh, gotten an, an early release of it. And had, Tommy had dropped it in there and we just went, what? We didn't probably leave the house probably for six hours that day because we kept playing it over again. Anyhow, guys, just wanted to throw this out there. This was just something a little different uh, instead of just constantly doing uh, reactions and stuff. And I will be back on Monday with some new reactions and stuff. So which song off of... Physical Graffiti was your favorite. All right, guys, take care. Have a great weekend. All right. All right.